Your Honor, good afternoon. Richard T. Serrano, PC Create Good. That appears today with Mr. Gray, appears to my right. We're ready to pre-trial. Please state your name, sir. Time to report, sir. Gray, soon. Okay, good morning. Good afternoon. I apologize. Okay, I like your shirt, actually. I just remember, I remember the bad boys. Okay, so, um, Council asked to the arraignment. Your Honor, I explained to him his constitutional rights, also the nature of the charge against him. Thereby, we wait for a reading, standing. Or wait for a reading, enter a plea of not guilty for purposes of the arraignment, and ask the free trial counsel. Your Honor, my client was to avail himself of the offer made by the prosecutor and that he will plead guilty to the amended charge and count of allowing an unlicensed driver, driver to operate a motor vehicle. He's been advised of what that entails. He understands the possible consequences, be it from this court or any administrative agency. He's willing to go forward with the plea. All right. Can you, sir, please raise your right hand. Do you sound sure on the testimony about the truth, the truth, and nothing about the truth? I'm sorry? Yes. Okay. All right. And you heard the plea that your attorney placed on the record. Yeah. Ask the amended charge of allowing an unlicensed driver to drive high you plea. Sorry? Yes. Okay. And you. Okay, and okay, and you, I'm sorry, you understand your rights, correct? You understand by entering into plea of you waiving some of those rights, specifically your trial and appellate rights. And you also understand the possible penalty as a result of your plea, whether in this court or any other court or administrative agency. And knowing all that, you still want to continue with your plea. Has anybody promised or anything, threatened you or forced you in any way for you to enter into a plea? No. All right. And counsel, if you can please go to your client. Mr. Gray, on June 13, 2023, were you operating a motor vehicle in the city of Wyandotte? Yes, sir. And uh, upon the, you being stopped by the police officer, um, did he or she ask you for a valid Michigan operator's license? Yes, sir. Did you have one to give the officer? No, sir. And did you, you in fact, allow yourself to operate that motor vehicle in the city of Wyandotte when you were not licensed? Is that correct? Yes, sir. I'm satisfied, Your Honor. The court is also satisfied the plea is knowing, voluntary, and factually accurate. The court will accept your plea to the amended charges from the original charge for the plea agreement and ask the sentencing counsel. Your Honor, my client tells me he's not on probation or parole anywhere. Uh, he said he has one matter, where was it, Ohio? Yes. There's one matter pending in Ohio, a, a traffic violation that he has to get clean, cleared up before he's eligible to reapply here. So, uh, and they said, I uh, President, I think, it's me in person. Yes. yes, it's in person. That's uh, he's married, Your Honor. He supports seven children at home, all with him. He has a total of 11 children. And, uh, Your Honor, he works as a, a steel worker and he's been employed in that full time position. So, I think fines and costs would be appropriate in this situation, Your Honor, but I leave it to the court's discretion. Be real with me, sir. How'd you get here today? My wife. She's at the dollar store. Pointing that way. What dollar store is that way? I don't know if I'm at the side or on the dollar store by the recreation center. I stay right around the corner. Oh, yeah, well, it's that way. <laughs> you didn't drive here today. Right around the corner. You're not in Wyandotte. No, yeah. I'm in Wyandotte. Well, hold on. Let me update you. Okay, hold on. Let me. Uh... Oh, yeah, there's a new address. Okay. I will make that change. We have your address in Lincoln Park. That's why everybody has a different definition with around the corner or down the street. So that's why I looked and I was slightly confused as to how that was around the corner. But okay. And when are you taking care of your matter in Ohio, sir? Uh, honestly, when my wife can get a day off work, then because she's the last driver. She, I can't understand. I can't hear you what you're saying. My wife 
get a day off, when she can get a day off work, she's the licensed driver that she's going to drive down there. But then we have to get a reliable car to make it there. He's not going to drive without a valid license. Is that correct, Mr. Gray? No, right. So, and we're on June 13th, was it that you had to absolutely drive? Honestly, Your Honor, I work midnights and I work in the pharmacy in Hills. That's my only finance, you know, for the past years that I've been working and I had to work. My wife, she worked the same hours and I took a chance. Okay, sir, I'm a little bit confused. You indicate you're single, married, and divorced. Yes. Well, well, not divorced. I'm single and we're working on our marriage. So I'm going to divorce. Did I put divorce down there? Wait a second. <laughs> you're either married or you're not. You can't be single and married. Yeah, you can. <laughs> <laughs> That's another subject totally. Not <laughs> well, put it like this, y'all. I don't I'm know if I'm bring power to that. Let me say it more clear. You're still married, right? We're, I'm still married, and we're together, but we're not mixing in a mix or anything like that. You know, we try to work our marriage out. You still take care of those kids, though, right? That's what I, with or without. Right? Okay, so you have 11 minor children? Yes. I have, I have, uh, Nine grown children. How stable? Oh, that's twelve. Is it nine plus three twelve? I have nine. Yeah, twelve. That's that's total. I have. Oh, I thought it was eleven. That's no, right. Total. You wrote eleven, sir. Who? You wrote. I wrote eleven. Well, I, I have the same form that you checked that you're single, married, and divorced. Yeah, I have twelve. I have twelve. I have. Nine adults and three other children. Look it up. Oh no, no, no. I got my last name. But um how so how old are your children? Um starting from 29, 28, 27, 24, 23, 22, and then the rest of this. <laughs> 10, 8, 7. Oh, you have a little bit of a gap there. Uh -huh. There's a little bit of an age gap there. And these are all the children you, with your wife? Seven of them. Oh, okay. Hmm. Well, that, that's a lot. That's a lot to handle. So you're separated, but you're married, but you're kind of estranged. No, we gotta be good. Yeah, we gotta be good. <laughs> why, why? No, no, no. I'm just trying to I'm just trying to understand because I looked at that document and I haven't seen anybody ever. You're like this, I'm married and you're working on it. Got it. Got it. I apologize. The for court has a family I apologize uh, for background, Mr. Gray. So <laughs> you can identify what you're saying. Uh, yeah, you know, I apologize. For you don't have to feel bad. I'm just trying to figure it out. So um well, you need to get your license sooner than later. Yes. Okay. Yes. All right. The court's going to indicate a $200 fine, $200 cost, crime victim assessment fee of $75, justice system assessment fee of $50, $525 total. Sir, you're the last case, so don't worry. They're going to be watching to make sure you're not driving out of the parking lot. No make sure you're not. No okay. No okay. Could you have time to pay your honor? Yes. When can you make that payment, sir? Um, a monthly payment, Your Honor, hundred dollars. Is that right, Mr. Gray? Hundred dollars a month. Can you handle that? Okay. What day of the month? Like towards the end. Can you begin this on September twenty second? Whatever, whatever day I get paid on the Monday. So you're the end of the I month. I don't know when you get paid. No, I said whatever day I get paid on the Monday. September 25th is the last Monday of the month. Okay. All right. 
You can sign up at the window so you can get the online payment information, sir, unless you just want to walk up here. That's fine. Right. Okay. Thank you, Ryan. All right. Thank you. Bless you. Okay. And so I think that completes our docket. We're off the record. Thank you.